This is like a little stop tail piece. A piece of leather here to protect the top. That's the mini go bar deck. Stumac black foam rest and the Stumac rock and roller spacers turnbuckle. So we're going to put that down and get the turnbuckle right on here. I'm going to do that bridge right on there. Now we can get some tension on those strings. Now you don't need these crazy tight. You can align your strings. See that? Wow! That's amazing. That's wonderful. Right there. Right there. And get a turnbuckle in place. That's going to lock your bridge right down where it is. With both turnbuckles on, we can get it to pitch and check the intonation. As you can see, the intonation is a little flat, so the bridge has to come forward a bit. Loosen the strings, loosen the turnbuckle, move the bridge forward or back wherever you got to move it, tighten the turnbuckles back up, tighten the strings back up, check again. Perfect. Now you can come in with a transfer punch or a spring loaded punch and make your mark. This is a two point bridge. Whether you have two holes, four or six, just punch them all out and you'll be ready to go. And one final note, you'll see that this hole is oblong and that means I can't use a punch to find the center. So I looked up the spacing for the bridge online, which is 56 millimeters, set my digital calipers and very carefully adjusted these dividers to match it. Then I can use the mark from the original hole that I was able to transfer punch and line this guy up by eye to get it right in the center and then push down and make my set mark. I used to tap these in with an awl and I no longer do that. Very small set marks left by very sharp ends are actually ideal for brad point drill bits. So one of the keys I use for accuracy is to use very small, very sharp set marks and then go in there with a brad point bit 